Hello, my name is Steve Salerno, Superintendent of the Mount Horaberry School District. On November 8th, an important decision will be asked of our voters with regard to an operational referendum. Grass grows where you water it, right? So what happens when you starve your grass of water? It begins to look a lot like this, brown and brittle. The annual increase in per pupil funding on the revenue limit has averaged just $3.02 per child per year. In fact, in six of the past 12 years, there have been no new dollars in per pupil increases on the revenue limit. That includes each of the last two years. The browning of Wisconsin schoolyards is occurring against the backdrop of almost $5.4 billion in surplus at the state level. In fact, the Department of Revenue Secretary, Peter Barca, recently said, and I'm quoting now, We are in the best shape we have been in fiscally in more than half a century. We've got a huge surplus, he continued to say. Now, is there a shift happening to school funding in Wisconsin? According to the Wisconsin Policy Forum, a nonpartisan think tank, the answer appears to be yes. In fact, they've said, this has resulted in the state's ability to tout tax cuts for residents and business owners. In fact, one report indicates that 83% of school districts in our region have passed operational referendums in the past 10 years alone. There have been 542 operational referendum questions over the past 10 years alone, resulting in a 78% passage rate. There have also been about almost 1,100 operational referendum questions over the past 20 years, and almost 700 of those have passed. Some of those districts have asked the question multiple times within that same 20-year period. The Mount Huraberry School District has not. I believe this exemplifies the importance the board places on being responsible financial stewards of the community's benevolence. In fact, Mount Horeb's last operational referendum was in 1999, but a lot has changed in those 23 years. That $3.02 average increase in per pupil expenditure is occurring against the backdrop of historic inflation. And we know our taxpayers are feeling it too. This is not lost on us. In fact, the needs of our students and the responsibility we feel for maximizing our taxpayers' generosity is often part of our internal discussions. Our Board of Education and the district's leaders fully understand the difference between what we must have versus our wants. Well, one example of this understanding is seen here. This is our mill rate. How does Mount Horeb's mill rate stack up against Dane County school districts? Our mill rate is $8.34 per $1,000 of equalized property value. Said another way, on a $300,000 home, the school's portion of the tax bill in Mount Horeb is $2,502. As opposed to that same $300,000 home, that school portion of that tax bill is $3,792 in Verona. Our mill rate is actually $2.39 less than the average mill rate for all comparison groups you see on this chart. You may be asking yourself, well, what about those mill rates West of Mount Horror, school districts like Barneveld and Dodgeville, Mineral Point, Pecatonica, maybe even New Glarus, all of those, they're higher than Mount Horror averages. Those five districts average $10.62 per $1,000 of equalized value. Now, in a moment, we'll talk about the return on your investment. But it's also important to note several of the districts listed are going to referendum this fall and or next spring. In addition to minding that mill rate, we see it as our responsibility to tighten our belt. Any cuts that we've had to make have always had the goal of making those cuts as far away from the classroom as possible. Just in the past 24 months alone, the board has instituted a number of measures in order to be even stronger stewards of our taxpayers' dollars. But I'd like to bring to the attention the work that you previously provided for us, which was the $38.5 million capital project. Do you remember that in 2017? In fact, the district's project there came on time and under budget. We chose to forego borrowing the additional $5.5 million the district was authorized to do so 
only because there wasn't consensus amongst our community about how that money should be spent. Over the years, we have pulled rabbit after rabbit out of our hats to avoid getting to this point. Given the zero dollar increases that we've received in per pupil funding over the past 12 years, six of those 12 years, I'm sorry to tell you that hat is now empty. Instead of doing more with less, an unsuccessful referendum begs a different question. How will we do less with less? Our kids in this community deserve better. So what's the ask? Well, here's our vision 